Hello ladies, welcome. My name is Ayani Me, and if this is your first time, hello, please subscribe. But if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for being here because today we will be talking about elegance. So Google defines elegance as the quality of being stylish and graceful in your appearance and manners. I like that definition, but I feel that there are there's another aspect of elegance that people often ignore, and that is the mind, being elegant in your mind. Because as you begin this journey towards elegance, working on your appearance and on your manners, you cannot leave out the mind. Because if you're considered empty-headed or not able to hold a conversation that can actually distract from your perfect appearance or your perfect manners and that brings us to the first part of this video it is important that you feed your mind not because you want to appear intelligent but because you want to actually be intelligent you actually want to be informed and knowledgeable and the way you can do this is by reading read 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 and read read anything and everything from fiction to non-fiction self-help books autobiographies magazines anything you can get your hand on read it the second thing you can do to feed your mind is by taking interest in world affairs world news not just what is happening in your country or in your community take interest in people their culture their traditions their politics their laws it's a good way of expanding your world because you don't want you don't want your world to just be this narrow you know this narrow small space you want to expand it and the way you can do that is by taking interest in world affairs the third thing you can do to feed your mind is taking interest in things that you would normally consider out of your comfort zone like classical music arts culture architecture and history of cities around the world take interest in things that normally you wouldn't maybe sports fashion poetry pottery horse riding the list goes on and on and on and i know that you may not be able to travel right now and have a hands-on experience that is why reading is your absolute best friend because reading will bring these experiences to you in the comfort of wherever you are by feeding your mind in all this manner what would happen is if you're ever to find yourself in a room full of people with different interests or different hobbies you'll be able to hold your own because you're knowledgeable and that will give you an upper hand the second aspect of being elegant in your mind is decluttering your mind of every negative emotions negative thoughts I know it is I know those thoughts are going to come but being equipped with the right tool to handle those kinds of situations is very very important I call it difficult and painful work because it means confronting your demons and telling yourself the hard truth but the good thing about that is that when you put in all that work you become self-aware you start this journey of being true to yourself of no of accepting yourself the way you are and working towards becoming a better person even if it means going to therapy or getting some books and reading it practicing them until they become a part of you do that because the best investment is the investment you make on yourself and now we move to the second part of this video elegance in manners essentially means knowing your etiquette your networking etiquette communication etiquette telephone etiquette dining etiquette and 
any other kind of etiquette you can think about. It means being able to communicate properly and effectively, speaking softly and, and your words articulated properly. It means saying thank you or please when necessary, treating everybody with respect and kindness from the doorman to the CEO. It means developing the tools to maintain your composure during a confrontation because you always come out on top being elegant in manners means being aware of yourself and your environment at all times because what may be acceptable in one place may not be acceptable in another so you have to be aware of yourself at all times another aspect of being elegant in manners is being an active listener giving people your full attention i still battle with that you know looking at your phone when somebody's talking to you it is very distracting please don't do that it is not good manners and last but not least please don't be vulgar no matter how how tense that situation is there are other words that you can use to communicate the way you feel without being vulgar now we come to the third part of what being elegant is. The first thing under appearance is dressing. You want to dress feminine, stylish and elegantly. And one sure way to do this is by wearing a dress. For some weird reason, I always get treated differently anytime I wear a dress. So you can try and find that out for yourself if it's going to work for you. But whenever I wear a dress, I get treated differently. You also want to understand your body type and dress accordingly. I have started a series on how to dress for your body type and I have a video on dressing the inverted triangle body type. I will link that video in one of these places. So don't forget to click on it and watch it later. And also turn on post notification because the next body type I will be talking about is the hourglass body type. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, the second aspect on the appearance is grooming. And that has to do with personal hygiene, nails, hair, makeup, skincare, and self-care. When it comes to personal grooming, you want to smell nice everywhere. So take care of your intimate body parts. Pluck what needs to be plucked, shave what needs to be shaved. And you, if you have any concerns, go see a gynecologist. You may also want to consider having a signature scent. You know, a scent that everybody around you knows that this is how this person smells. For your nails, keep your nails short, trimmed and neat. And for hair, make sure your hair is properly groomed. It doesn't matter if you're wearing a wig or not. Ensure that whatever is underneath your wig is neat also. And as for makeup, keep it natural and nude. Makeup is to enhance your beauty, not hide it. Before, I used to wear a lot of makeup, but not anymore. I have this signature nude look that I go for, even if I go for a makeup artist to, to do my makeup. So you can experiment and have your own signature makeup look. That is why almost all of my videos, my makeup is practically the same. So do that. Like I said, makeup is to enhance your beauty, not hide it. The third thing is skincare. If you have any skincare issues like I do, I battle adult acne, but I've realized that since I started seeing a dermatologist, my skin has improved tremendously. So do well to invest in your skin. And finally, self-care. Self-care is so important because when you are able to take care of yourself, when you're able to find time in your busy schedule to take care of yourself, you're going to find out that you're grounded in what is important and what is not. So be it a spa day, massage, soaking in a hot tub, or setting out one particular day of the week where you just pamper yourself to that. We as elegant ladies, we deserve all of the good things in life. The final aspect on the appearance is 
courage, how you carry yourself, sitting with the right posture, standing with the right posture, walking with the right posture. All this is important. You don't want to slouch or stomp around throughout the day. You want to strut catwalk, sachet, whatever you want to call it. And for me personally, I think courage is valuing yourself, appreciating yourself, loving yourself, and allowing that to show through in how you carry yourself. And we will cover all of that in future videos. So please do subscribe. And now we come to the final part of this video. Elegance is not arrogance. It is not thinking or believing that you're better than everybody around you. It is not about being perfect. It is being confident in yourself, loving yourself, valuing where you are in your journey to becoming an elegant and feminine woman. Understanding all of this and knowing that you do not have to be abrasive or pushy to get whatever you want out of life. It is the confidence of this knowledge that makes you an elegant woman. I hope that you enjoyed this video and you learned something because it was made with love and thoughtfulness. Please subscribe to my channel, like, share and comment on this video as I'd like to know your thoughts on what elegance means to you. As always, be kind to yourself and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!